pension companies have been hoovering up apartment blocks and now the corporations are moving in and they're buying buy to let properties as well. What's going on and what does it mean for you? Find out in this video. A few years ago, you'd probably never heard the phrase build to rent. But hopefully, if you're a property investor, you have now because it's becoming an ever bigger part of the property investment landscape. And for individual property investors, it represents a new competitor. In this video, we're going to explain what build to rent is and what it means for you. So what is build to rent? Sometimes you may hear it referred to as PRS, but basically it's just big institutions buying property and then renting it out, and normally on a large scale. Strictly speaking, the build to rent label only originally applied to properties that were built by companies specifically to rent out. But now, build to rent is used to describe any property that's owned by a large scale corporate landlord, whether they built it themselves or just bought existing stock. Effectively, it means that companies, large corporations, are becoming landlords. Whereas previously, it was mostly individual landlords or local authorities or housing associations. Now, the big boys have moved in. And they really are moving fast. 10 years ago, build to rent virtually didn't exist in the UK, although it was established in the US. Fast forward 10 years, and as of May 2021, there were 188,000 build-to-rent homes that were either complete, being built, or in the planning stage. And it's picking up pace. It's grown by 135% since 2017, compared to just 0.3% for the private rented sector. But bear in mind, that still only makes up 1% of the market. But they are, as we've heard, gaining ground. At the moment, the majority of build-to-rent homes are in city centres but suburban locations are becoming more and more popular. So who are these big new players in the world of residential property? Well, pension funds like Aviva and Legal in General have led the way. They've bought entire blocks of apartments, sometimes a couple of hundred or more. And they've been attracted to the sector because what pension funds want most is a steady income and the investments that they make are long term. So they've got plenty of time to benefit from capital growth. Same reason that many people get into property. But they're not the only ones. Big banks are getting in on the act as well. Lloyds are now getting involved and becoming landlords on a large scale. And even John Lewis has announced that they're going to build 10,000 homes above their stores and land that they own. And a small but growing number of funds are also starting to build and buy build to rent schemes. So why are all these big corporations suddenly getting into residential property? Well, largely, it's for the same reason you are. You mentioned that pension funds want a predictable inflation-linked income stream, and that's basically what rental income gives you. The supply and demand dynamics are also very attractive. It's no secret that there is a large demand for housing in the UK. Therefore, they can be confident that if they got the right product in the right location, then it'll always do well. And it also gives them plenty of diversification. Traditionally, pension funds and big corporations have owned large assets like shopping centres or office blocks, but that means they've often got a small number of large tenants, and if one of them is not able to pay the rent anymore, that puts them in big trouble. With Built to Rent, there is a large number of much smaller tenants, so that really spreads their risk. So what does all this mean for tenants? Well, actually, on the whole, it's been great for tenants. They get a professional landlord who might be easier to deal with than an individual. They also have more flexibility around their rental contracts. They could go for longer time periods or shorter to suit their needs. And these properties are often managed with tech, so it's easier to report issues. And often the response times are very good as well. Also, for built to rent operators, one of the main things that they're interested in is how long residents stay. They really want to maximise length of tenancy, and as a result, they will do things like allowing pets that they know gives them a competitive advantage in the market and means that tenants are likely to stay longer. And a final benefit for tenants is that the properties just tend to be newer and higher quality. Because it's a new sector, the properties tend to be new. And again, because these companies are thinking about the long term, they've often spec them out to a higher quality than anything else that's available locally. So what does all this mean for landlords? Well, you've probably realised you have competition. Now, currently, it's mainly in city centres, as we said. And so far, they've only mostly been targeting the top 10% of the rental market. And what this has done is driving up the standards. But build to rent is increasingly targeting the mid-market. They're looking to expand and take more and more on. Now, of course, this means that tenants have options. If you refuse pets or don't offer as much flexibility, they can quite easily now go somewhere else that allows it. And standards will increase. This is good news because the worst landlords will be left behind, and so they should be. 
and good landlords will be fine. They'll just need to keep up with the latest trends and make sure they're delivering a great service. And we've seen this play out in the student market. Lots of landlords still operate there, even though there's lots of competition from big companies. If landlords offer a great product and a great service, even with this increase in competition, they should be fine. So as an individual landlord, you do have a new competitor, but don't panic. Even though built to rent is growing fast, it still makes up a tiny proportion of the overall market. So nothing's gonna change overnight, but it does mean that you have to stay awake. Your local market might start shifting. So track what alternatives are available to the tenants that you're targeting in your market and make sure that you make whatever changes you need to make in order to stay competitive. Well, you could go with the approach. If you can't beat them, join them. There are property funds that allow you to get into this built to rent sector and get exposure to it straight away. If that's of interest to you, then you can check out our fund over at portfolio.co.uk.